I got a question today. What do you do when your life gets hard? How do you handle it? How do you get through life when life gets hard? When things come your way, are you finding that you get through it and you're good most of the time? Or are you finding that you kind of get stuck and you start to fall apart at the seams most of the time? What do you do when life gets hard? It's the L to the Z and I'm just here to be, yeah. It's the L to the Z and I'm just here to help you be all that God wants you to be. This is the Real Talk, Real Walk daily podcast and life is real. And so we want to just get into it today because life gets hard. There are times in life that get extremely hard. We've all been through a pandemic. What was happening for you when you saw your friends and your family members losing their life? How do you deal with death? How do you deal when a love, how do you deal when one of your loved ones dies? Somebody who, who you grew up with, how do you do, deal when a childhood friend dies? I've seen people. I'm so encouraged today because there's so many people that I've seen who when somebody passes, you lose a mom, you lose a dad, you lose a close friend, you lose a brother or a sister, you lose your grandma, grandma who granny was there all the time for you. And I've seen so many people, their lives start to fall apart when life gets hard. They don't know how to process it. They don't know how to handle. They don't know how to manage. They don't know how to pick back up and get back on your feet. When life gets hard, I've seen people crumble. I've seen people turn to drugs and go into drug addiction. Hardcore drug addiction. I'm not talking about smoking weed. I've seen a lot of people, a lot of people I know, when their life gets hard, it's like, let me just puff on this whew, real quick. And it only lasts until the next puff. And it only lasts until the next roll up. And it only lasts until the next drink. Because they can't handle when life gets hard. And I'm not condemning you. If that is you, I think I have something that might help you today. I think I have something. I always try to have something that helps you every day. That's why I do this five days a week. Monday through Friday, streaming live on Twitch at 10 a.m. The replay gets put up every day on YouTube and you will start to see clips, shorter pieces, because this is why I do this. I believe that I have something that has been helpful to me. I'm not perfect. Life gets hard for me too. Life is real, bro. Life is really real. There's times when my marriage gets hard. I point to this door because there's a door right here and on the other side of that door, either through the living room or somewhere, my wife is over there. So when I talk about my marriage and I point, that means I'm talking about my wife. Sometimes life gets really, really hard for us too. Sometimes money gets low. Sometimes we have kids that are going through health challenges. Life gets hard for me too. I'm not exempt. Nobody's exempt. Life is real for us all. But the question I'm asking today is what do you do when life gets hard? Are you finding that you're keeping it together? Things are fine, you make it through, you're able to experience peace while the most difficult of life circumstances is going on? Or are you finding that when things get tough, you find yourself stuck in depression, when things get stuck, stuck you find yourself turning to food or turning to, to substances when things get tough you find yourself searching for answers and not finding them i want you to be the the first the former i want you to be the the kind of person i want to see you grow in your life to where when life gets hard where when life gets hard you're able to gracefully Go through it, experience the challenge, embrace the challenge, press into the challenge. When life gets hard, do you fall apart or do you press in? I got something for you today. I was reading in Romans, excuse me, not Romans. I read in, I've been reading in Romans every Sunday with our church and with my kids. I've been reading in 1 Corinthians, but today I've been reading personally through Matthew. I've been reading through Matthew. I'm in Matthew chapter seven, and I got a word for you today. And it's not just a word that's gonna encourage you, it's a word that will change your life. It'll change your life, especially 
when things get hard. Watch what happens. Watch what this says. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 and on. It says, and this is Jesus talking in this passage. He says, anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. So you got a person who builds a house on solid rock. The one who listens to Jesus' teachings and follows it. He says, though the rain comes, though the hard times comes, though the money gets low, through, though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. It is built on solid rock. He says, the winds are gonna come. He says, when they come, though they come, He's like, there is a storm on the horizon, but watch what happens to this house when it comes. Is that, how, is that how you find yourself in life? When storms of life hit you, do you find yourself standing strong after it's gone? Do you find yourself collapsing in the middle of the storm? I've been there. I've been, when my music career died, I didn't know what to do because I had not been building my house the way Jesus was waiting and teaching and hoping and calling me to build my house. It wasn't on nothing solid and so it collapsed and I collapsed in the process. But thank God, <laughs> thank God he met me there. He met me there and he started showing me how to build my house. And I started to build my house differently. And since then, I've been a single father, things falling around all around me, being able to stand and not collapse. I've been married, things falling around all around me. And I've been able to stand and not collapse, not because of me. This is not the pit L up. This is to lift up my Lord, the Lord Jesus. Here's what he says about the other kind of house. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it, it is foolish. Anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. Like a person who builds the house on the sand. Why would you build a house on sand? Why would you build a house on sand? Because when you build a house on sand, when the rain and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. Why would you build a house on the sand? Have you been building your relationships on sand? and you haven't been seen one stand, you've been with woman after woman after woman after woman after woman. <laughs> and you just been trying to find the one. You're like, I'm just trying to find the one. I've been there. Fellas, I've been there. Building my relationships on sand. Thank God he met me there. Thank God he pulled me out of that. Thank God he healed my broken past. Thank God, thank God, thank God. So when I came into my marriage, I, I, I learned that I have to build my marriage on solid rock. I have to build my marriage on solid rock. How do you build on rock or how do you build on sand? He makes it simple and clear. Are you following what Jesus is teaching? It's simple as that. Are you following what Jesus is teaching? And I know for some of you, you think there's some kind of religious message that I do every day, and I want to tell you the contrary. No, this is a life message that I do every day because life is real, bro. This is real life and life gets hard. And I've seen the best and the strongest fall when things get hard. I've seen the toughest men fall when things get hard crumble to pieces. Drink it all up. Smoke it all up. And it's 
still doesn't help. And it's still not good enough. Good enough. It only gets them to, to tomorrow. Are you just living just for one day? Or are you trying to live a life that is abundant? And I'm not talking about you just got money flow. People be like, oh, have an abundant life. You just Like you just gonna have money flowing all over the place. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an abundant life where there is peace inside of you. An abundant life where the circumstances of life happen, where there's money or no money. Like scripture says, I've learned how to be content in all circumstances. Have you learned how to be content in all circumstances? That is what Jesus teaches. Jesus is calling you today. Jesus is calling you today. He's not calling you into a religion. He's not calling you into a religion. I know so many people. God bless their soul, but I just know so many of y'all who know who, who, who know and have an urging to read the, the word of God every day and you don't do it. I hope at least you come and listen to this because I, I, I'm here five days a week. So I hope at least you get a little bit here. But this ain't enough, bro. <laughs> this ain't enough. This ain't going to sustain you. Like th this message, if you, if you cling to it and then you start to do it and you're like, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to start reading my word. You can read one scripture, one verse, two verses, five verses every day. You don't have to read the whole Bible. You don't got to open it to the front and then try to get to the back. You don't have to approach it. Like, open it. Just open it. And start reading. I promise you. I promise you this. Those words will jump off the page for you. And the other thing that will happen when you read the word of God. It is going to challenge you. It's going to challenge you. Am I am I am I going to do it my way? Or am I going to do it the Lord's way? It's going to challenge you. And, 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 and naturally, you're going to want to do things your way. But if you try God's way, I promise you, you're going to build your house on a rock. And you will be able to go through anything, even death. Even death. Because life isn't promised. Life isn't promised. And if you're afraid of death, and I know so many people, they still, no, they, they could, you could take out all the mask mandates and they masking up two, three, four, five times. And I don't have nothing against you if you're doing that. I understand you don't want to get sick. But I think there are more people who are not so much afraid of being sick, but they're really afraid of death. And I believe that when you build your life on what Jesus teaches, not that you're going to be wanting to die. I don't want to die. But you will understand and know that one day you will. And you can live knowing that in spite of when that day comes for you, you're going to be all right. So you can live and live fully and enjoy the days and live with a purpose because you're like, okay, God, what do you want me to do? Because my time is in your hands. That's how I live. And I, I wrestle with things and I struggle with things sometimes too. But I thank God I'm just happy my life don't collapse when a storm comes. But storms do come. And life does get hard. Because life is real. This is real talk. And this is a real walk. Are you with me? Are you with me? I encourage you. Open it up to Matthew, Luke, John, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians. Galatia, wherever you open it, God is going to meet you there. And then when you read, put your life up against what God is saying. Because it's going to challenge you. It's going to challenge you to shift. And you're not going to be able to do any of this in your own power. So you're going to have to cry out, God, I don't have the power. I don't even want to do what you're asking me to do. But if you have the will, if you have a willing heart, if you have a heart that that, that wants to follow Jesus, you can cry out what it says in Philippians 2, I believe it's verse 10. It says, God is working in you, giving you the power and the desire to do what pleases him. He doesn't even leave it all on you to, 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 to get it all done. He's like, I'm, I will work inside of you, but you've got to invite him in. And so you've never invited Jesus to be a part of your life. All the Bible says you have to do is believe in your heart that Jesus died for your sins. 
and it's a lie because he resurrected out of, the, out of the grave and he defeated death, which is why we don't have to fear it anymore and declare that Jesus is Lord with your mouth. Openly declare that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is my Lord. And Lord means that you put him in charge of everything now. Will you put him in charge? Will you follow his word today? Will you build the life on solid rock? Or will you just continue to build on sand? It's up to you. I don't care. Build it on sand. Do you. Do you. Do you, boo. <laughs> That's what they say. But um, it's the L to the Z. I'm just here to help you be all that God wants you to be. Join me tomorrow, 10 a.m. on Twitch. Subscribe, like the channel, support. <laughs> support so I can keep doing this every day. Support the channels uh, on YouTube. The replay will be up. Uh, also follow me on Instagram and social media at it's the L to the Z. All right? Until tomorrow. God loves you.